Hey folks, it's Fan Kraken here. Welcome to a completely unplanned Tuesday night World of Warships Legends stream. I've been processing some of the news today from the World of Warships Legends site and just realized kind of what's going on a little late to the party. Haven't been able to check in on Twitch today. But anyhow, they're going to do a reset of the server tonight at midnight my time, just midnight mountain time. And I believe any renown we earn on this first week of mission progress for the second set of weekly havoc missions for week three and four we get to keep and we'll roll over until next week so i'm going to try to jump on and get as much done tonight as i can because i'm gonna be out of town i think next weekend for a few days so we can get a quick he or head start and edge on accumulating some renown for the first couple tasks of this week's mission set and then tomorrow we'll reset but from what i understand the statement to be we'll get to keep any renown that we earn and it will roll over so i could use that extra little kicker for the end of this next two week period so we are unplanned but we are on and we're going to just try to knock out as much quick mission progress tonight as we can maybe try to get the first two steps done which is uh three wins and twenty-one thousand ship xp something like that so anyway thank you for joining me if you are here also i have up on my screen the first set of tech tree ship sales start today and i think these run over the next two to four weeks something like that there's different blocks and different nations of ships that are on sale so if you're close to grinding out some tier sixes tier sevens even lower tier ships it's a fantastic chance to grab some ships at really good discounts and save yourself a bunch of credits which to me are kind of the basically limiting factor in your progress in this game it's the hardest thing to grind out at least from my personal opinion hey we've also got a rank battle season that has started i don't know if you'll find me there honestly it's not my favorite game mode but you know you do get a patch base you get some symbols for your patches if you progress in ranked and then looks like you can get some super center containers and some icebreaker coins um, at different ranks so i believe it's ranked 11 rank six or five and rank one that you get different payouts of icebreaker coins so if that's something that interests you by all means pursue it i've had a lot of that game mode in my four years of world of warships between pc and uh legends and i'm not always that excited when it comes around but you may be so hey whatever works for you and float your boat is what i would do um, make yourself happy okay so all right so we got to yahagi as a saturday night so we managed to finish the first set of weekly havoc missions and then again just going to double check it so i'm a little hyper a little worked up Got to win three battles. Just take a quick note. 21,000 ship XP. And that doesn't say base. And then 2.1 million credits. I don't know if I can get all that done in the next two hours and 45 minutes, but it's worth a try. We'll probably just try to power grind it out solo tonight if we can. Get as many matches in as possible. None of them except the first set is win dependent. Um, oh, and it's actually tier three to tier seven. Okay. But, oh, AI mode. Okay, I don't remember that from last week. So we're definitely going to jet through AI mode for our three battles here since these are sequential stage two is locked is that how last week broke down i don't remember that all right let's hop to it ai mode if you're not going for credits or xp and you're just going for wins is a perfectly good way to go in my opinion and we do have some ships that we need to level up. I'm gonna run higher tier ships. Most likely for the XP and potentially the credits if we get there. 
So we're just going to jam with uh, some lower tier ships that we have going on tech tree grinds here, potentially. You don't need to run premium ships for wins either. Just keep it basic, though your first win bonus will be on a much lower base for an AI battle than it would be for a standard battle. Just keep that in, in mind. Okay, so my channel, if you've never been here before, is casual. We are competitive, but we try to respect the people that we play with, even if they're not playing as well as us. I will call out potato behavior at times, more so from a constructive standpoint, and be the first to point out if it's me that's performing that potato behavior. <laughs> Definitely not the best World of Warships player you'll encounter. These guys who are contri community contributors and stuff who have three times the number of battles in Legends that I do. But I have been playing World of Warships for four years total, four years on PC, and about a year and a half since the alpha test on Legends. So I know my way around the game. I know quite a bit about the game mechanics, the boats, decent amount about the commanders, and just how the game works. So happy to help with any questions you have. Again, we're here to desalinate the internet a little bit at a time, not add to the salt. But again, doesn't mean we're not competitive in how we play and doesn't mean we don't want to win because I hate to lose. Hate to lose at pretty much anything. Okay, this boat's got 10 kilometer torpedoes. We're gonna dip out since we got four ships targeting us. Good news is we don't have to go for high damage totals or anything in this round. It's really as simple as just trying to secure wins. Which if you're new to the game, AI battles are a great way to become acquainted with the different ships. Basic game mechanics, though we'll warn you that playing against humans is going to be a very different experience than playing against bots. The twerps missed. It's one thing the bots are generally quite good at, is dodging torpedoes. I don't know if we launched torpedoes off this side. Yeah, we did. Jaguar's almost dead. Let's see if we can wing him and get him. Oh, just scoot over the top. I don't know why my teammates are not shooting at him, unless they're mostly bots too. I didn't really... 100% check. Jaguar is a French DD that is pretty maneuverable. Okay, we do have torpedoes on each side. That's an equal and opposite number. You'll notice in AI battles, the enemy team is comprised of basically a mirror image of your own team. So whatever you bring to the battle, there will be one of those on the other side. And we're gonna load armor piercing rounds now. So one of the things you can practice in AI mode is switching back and forth between HE rounds and armor piercing rounds. This guy's keeping good turns with me. <laughs> At those extreme angles, AP is likely to bounce. Now where he's going to give us a flat side, it should be easier to pen him with armor-piercing rounds and do more damage than with HE. Don't turn, you bugger. There we go. Two fires, though. He's setting us on fire. Must have been him. Or the Aoba down yonder. Yeah, four overpens. They went straight through the hole and hardly damaged him at all. We didn't get the kill, but we have the win. So how long did that take? Just a couple minutes and we have one win recorded. Playing in AI mode. Hey, Captain, what's up, man? Hey, I just, uh, just figured out the whole reset business for this week. <laughs> where they're resetting the server tonight at midnight, my time. And I think you get to keep all the renown that you collect between now and then, if I read it right. So I'm trying to book and see if I can get at least two of the first uh, mission steps done tonight. That's the goal anyway. 
I'm going to be out of town a week from this weekend. So the tail end of this two week block, if I'm struggling to finish like I did this last week, because I kind of s- slacked off during the week, it's going to be nice to have like an extra 150 plus renown in my pocket. So it's like their loss is my gain. <laughs> How have you been? Looks like you've been uh, streaming late, later at night. I'm back on uh, kind of a normal schedule, so technically I should not be staying up as late as I was during Christmas break when the kids were home. Hey, Moist, what's up, man? I am trying to reap the rewards as Arcana and I were just talking about of this reset of the server, so... I guess any renown you collect on your missions between now and midnight my time, mountain time, 1 p.m. central, you get to keep and roll over when they reset the missions. And then obviously this three win mission. I don't remember last week the first block being in AI mode as well, but maybe it was. I thought most stuff was in standard. So kids preventing you normal hours. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's a problem. Damn kids want to stay up and monopolize the Xbox. I have two, but I don't know. I haven't cloned, like, have you split out and given them their own Xbox Live account? Which I need to research doing. At first, I think you had to pay, like, for a second subscription, but I'm not sure you have to anymore. But uh, they don't have their own subscription currently, but then there's the bandwidth issue too. Everyone's on at the same time. They're streaming Netflix on one or two sources. We're trying to play. So a little relaxing AI mode. This is what I was planning on doing tonight in uh, PC actually, because I've got all these ships that have rewards on them that I just need to get wins on. So I was thinking, oh, tonight I'm just going to do some very casual PC, getting the snowflakes off your ship, basically they call it. So there's free crates and stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, I didn't read this properly when I saw the little blurb earlier that <laughs> you basically keep what you earn tonight. I'm assuming there's some people who are now way ahead. They started yesterday. know about you guys am I gonna get torped by the legal that's the question battleship is gonna paddle me probably get that Minikaze okay he's out a little worried about this battleship. Bottle ship. Okay, at least now we can focus on him. Playing my hometown favorite, Konigsberg. Love this thing. I know, man, I'm excited to division with you and Monk and a bunch of people when crossplay divisions come going to be awesome. Something to look forward to, right? Hey, the bots did not evade all my torpedoes. They're like way too good at evading torpedoes generally. Let's go and get a fire on him. No, let's swing this side and see if we have more torpedoes ready yet. Sounds like they just reloaded. Oh, I thought I might be running into an island here. Yeah, it's funny. I've got all my stuff done on my Europe account. I'm pretty much up to speed on that. Strasbourg campaign. Ouchie. You're going to die, though. Die now. Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't believe that they have that many bots left in the middle. 
So yeah, I've got all my stuff done on my Europe account, that little account for Strasbourg, and then I started late last night, like just working on all the ships I have in my port, and I think I've got close to 200. So I probably have at least like 100 that are tier five plus, tier six plus that are worth trying to just run co-op on to get these rewards off of, because the tier 10s give you a big Santa crate, the tier 8s and 9s give you steel, which is the currency to buy some cool ships. And then the rest give you coal and some camouflages. So it's like I've got all this warship stuff to try to do. I don't know how I'm going to possibly get it all done. I won't get it all done. One account I'm not even touching. My second North American account. Wait, our team is really slow at killing these dudes. First game took like five minutes. So where are you guys at if you're still there on uh, on your missions? Did you get a bunch of stuff done since yesterday? I usually don't start until Wednesday, but get some stuff done. Wow. Oh, BFK sure who that is, but 430k damage in Smolensk. Smolensk. Wow. That's pretty insane. Smolensk is way overpowered. It's funny, I ran that ship in co-op today. I haven't played it very much. I have it, I bought it on two of my accounts, my two old accounts, and it is pretty dirty, and they that's even after they nerfed it. So I haven't played it in live battles hardly at all, but I did run it in co-op on one of the accounts today. And I did like 80,000 in co-op, not even trying. It was pretty bad. Um, Moist, I have not. I saw that screen pop up. I saw the discounts on the Japanese tech tree. I'm gonna be waiting a little while because it's, I'll have German ships, maybe American ships and or French ships to buy. But Japan, I'm already to Mogami. Well, I guess if I worked on some uh, Japanese destroyers, I could use some discounts there. OP, but nerfed when the rework comes into play. Yeah, I mean with the captain reskill, the captain reskilling, the reset. You mean? I think it might affect stuff like um, IFHE, which would affect the cruiser captains. You know similar to how we're affected over here. Which I was able to finish out all my cruiser battles. I just need to start analyzing some of that data. Definitely feels just from a sense of playing the games that fire chance was down pretty substantially on my ships that were running equilibrium, equilibrium of power with Norman Scott. So. And I, it's funny, I realized that Norman Scott was, like, the Atlanta was his command vessel at one point, but I didn't realize that he died on the Atlanta in the Battle of Guadalcanal when she got, I think, torpedoed. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to her, it was like, Longlands torpedo or... That or she took some kind of massive artillery salvo because basically she got ripped. Almost her entire bow got ripped off, I think. But I had no idea he was on her at that time and he was awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously. Which is pretty cool. Come on, Zenker, die. Yeah, Smolin's going to be average. We'll see. We'll see if they let their Russian ships become average. It may be a little bit underpowered at some point if it's, I mean, if it's nerfed tremendously from a firepower perspective. Because uh, if you get hit in her, you're screwed. I mean, she, she does take overpens quite easily. You can get overpenned a lot, which will extend your survi survival. But if you get caught in open water in her without your smoke, you're pretty much hosed.
So does anyone know exactly what was going on with the uh, the problem? Did anyone say what wasn't working with, uh, it was potential damage or something like that? How about Ren Leander? Because I haven't been running her in normal battles. I know they botched the whole damage mission on the last one, the last week, where all four ship types were all working at the same time, or all three ship types. Whoever's in charge of programming is having some issues. You think they would test that on their test server? See how it's all working. All right, one more AI battle. Yeah, those Longlands torpedoes were insanely good, weren't they? Okay, can we underestimate, I think, a lot of their capability at the beginning of the war? Zero is so far ahead. Airframe wise, well, from an aerodynamic perspective, obviously not from an armor or self sealing fuel tank perspective, but I believe she's one of the first planes to have synchronized um, 20 millimeter cannons firing through the propeller. And we obviously made quick strides once we got provoked, but I think our whole. Um, there's another battle. It was Flammy was going over it one night. It might have been Savo Island or something. Just the the level of discombobulation that we had in it was a night battle, I believe. Where we friendly fired a bunch of our own ships and But I mean think back then with a lot less tech. It's kind of understandable that things were tougher in general, but I think it took us a while tactically to catch up. Wait, we are right in the thick of it here. Let's go for the cruiser and the destroyer first. Destroyer's gonna come on this side. We'll go ahead and run hydro. There's one. I'm surprised I got the kill with armor piercing so easily. Okay, we have a minute six on our smokes. So let's target some stuff, wait for the battleship to creep up to us, and we'll charge out of our smoke and do a kamikaze torpedo mission. Did you say you got knocked off the Discord, Arcana? Can't remember. It's actually where I went and saw the news tonight. I was like, <laughs> I'm really glad I did not miss that entire announcement. Okay, we only got 28 seconds, so let's let's move on the Normandy. He's got his guns pointed to his right, which works out for me. Oh, he's tracking me. Animation is not real smooth for some reason. We're in single fire. Perfect dodge of our teammates, Torps. <laughs> I guess he took one. All right, what's left here? Got rounds on the New Mexico. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I had a almost 200,000 damage game in Montana today. In uh, AI mode, co-op mode. Which I don't think I've ever scored 200,000 in a co-op round before. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know my oldest has figured out Discord. Saw that she was on there. Oh, no problem. All right. Well, not a whole lot left for us to do. I was pretty happy to see this. Shakedown missions look pretty dang easy this set. It's like just torpedo hits, 30 torpedo hits and 1,000 main battery hits. It wasn't as much XP driven, so it seemed to me like stuff that you could do pretty quickly and that potential damage. Might be one that would take the longest. All right. Seventy five are down in the bank. I should have taken my Yahagi out. But we're gonna have to go with premiums and load up. Load up on. as much bonus stuff as we can. Okay, so definitely wanna back out, get into standard mode. And let's double check, I think it's ship XP, so 21,000 ship XP. Standard's gonna yield us much higher XP totals than AI mode. And I'm gonna run premiums tonight. Let's run cruiser stuff we're comfortable with that we like. All right, let's start with Atlanta. Why the heck not? Okay, so this is where we're gonna leave a credit booster on So we're trying to raise credits. And then we're gonna go, we can actually leave that on too because we're just trying to farm global XP for our next free XP ship. We're gonna go with a triple ship experience points booster. Okay. Lanta is one of the better printing ships of credits in XP. You hit it on the head, Moist. It's like, for me, Atlanta will be a really quick route to a thousand main battery hits obviously any cruiser with a higher rate of fire is going to do a good job so british cruisers wouldn't be bad um uh let's see helena if you don't have an atlanta definitely go for helena okay yeah captain i just my for tonight i just want to if it's just two of us just run quickly I know when we get chat and when we have a group and it's weekend nights, I just want to be as efficient as I can because I'm starting from total scratch right now. So I just like to at least get the ship XP one knocked out if possible. So let me see how much I can get on this, get a couple games in and then we can hook up. All right, we are going to try to go between B and C. It's kind of a high risk, high reward Atlanta position. If you get overrun down the middle, or if your team doesn't defend C, which we already have a destroyer leaving, don't leave, dude. Okay, the lemming train is on. Dude, you don't all want to bail. This is just an issue lately. You guys are all going to go into the open at B and just let them walk through C. Is that the deal? Come on. Come on, man. Maybe we need to dip. <laughs> uh... I mean, 
Like, we don't need any spotting at C. We need all the destroyers to go to B, A and B, where they, the guy at A is not going to see anything for two or three minutes. And then both in B, and that's... Unfortunately, I can't really spot for myself, and it... Okay, the New Mexico. He's not AFK. But he's not going anywhere fast in New Mexico. Hi, teen! Hey! So I have something for you, okay? Let me finish this game. And I do have something for you. So hang out for a few minutes if you can. Do you have a couple minutes or? Okay, just till the end of this game if you can. All right, got one ship spotted. This is not a, not a great position to have to take when there's no one to spot for me on this side. And well, we have all three destroyers trying to get into A or going towards A. This team is interesting. One hour and 30 minutes of you have to go to school or something. All right, Mr. Byron. Ugh, I didn't mean to be going forward. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Not sure why no one is targeting us. And we're sitting out here in the open. But hey, I'll take it. Okay, well this, this game will hopefully not take an hour and 30 minutes based on where our team is going. It could be really short. Dude, and this guy's gonna charge in and immediately die. And he's my spotting. Let's get as much damage as we can. So we're likely to have to bail this position. Oh, just got on, man. I just I just realized about this whole reset of the server thing. So, I'm kind of like in a, I want to grind really fast tonight, as much renown as I can, because I've got to be, well, not got to be, but we're going on vacation for the weekend, a week from this weekend. So, I may not have time to comfortably finish this two-week mission block, so this you can uh, keep whatever renown you get tonight before midnight my time is like a nice gift if I can take advantage of it <laughs> so yes I'm winning but only because I played uh, three AI games and I won them all amazing in AI mode we need this kill let's get this kill on the Byron eh? New Mexico staying alive don't show me your broadside dude How about you? Have you been playing much tonight or Archer? So you guys are probably like two nights, night and a half, day and a half ahead of me. Oh, why am I coming out in the open? Okay, I don't want to be out in the open now that he's dead. We had a massive lemming train up the middle and we've already lost two ships even though we are probably majorly outnumbering the other team up the middle. Feeling like this is going to be a loss. We'll see. Sometimes a lemming train works, but usually that's not the case. And we're going to have ships coming back door on us. So, try to alert my team. Not now, dude. 
I don't think so. I'm not going out there now. Where am I located? Crap. If I start opening fire now, I've got a ways for I can kind of kite away, but what the hey. These guys have lots of targets to shoot at, so I'm going to go ahead and hope they're distracted and open fire on the California. There's a fire. Played a little this morning, was off work today. You got some hate mail? Well, you must have had a good night. Congratulations. Only good players get hate mail, right? It's your total cheater in a server-side game where you can't cheat. Just to get some tank hate mail, for sure. Haven't got a lot on Legends. I just think in general it's been a bit more of a mellow community. There's the kill. Okay. See if we can light up the California now. Okay, we're gonna run to this little alcove. Well, we have to take B immediately. <laughs> You're using your homing torpedoes? Yeah, see, that is illegal. Those are not, not sanctioned. They're not legal modifications of your game client to load the homing torpedoes. <laughs> That's classic. Well, yeah, there's two things that make people rage probably the most in this game, and one is getting deleted by destroyers they can't see, and the second is getting HE spammed to death, right? Dudes, shoot the Leander. He's showing full broadside to us. Fuso's decided to come back. Come back to Jamaica. She knows tonight. Ooh. New Orleans on the other side. We still don't have B, really. After all this time. You can sit there, dude, and I can still hit you. Come on, guys, let's focus him. Get him out. He may be stuck. Is he not gonna hit a rock? Oh, I'm gonna hit a rock. It's okay. Loving these people think that you can't shoot over the hill here at them. <laughs> so you're gonna sit still, broadside in a DD, and not fire me. Well, that's on you. Yeah, that is on you. But people still like to complain, right? Sad thing is, it's usually the players that have the least understanding of the game that critique you the most and obviously think there's some kind of conspiracy theory as far as the game mechanics goes, too. It was always great when you... get harassed by someone during a whole game and then you go check their statistics after the game's over and they have abysmal statistics. Not that I'm a stat shamer, but it just works out that a lot of times the people that haze you the hardest are the ones that really don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Leander, you cannot, you cannot hide from my shells right there, dude. At least getting him on the move. He's got quick acceleration. Maybe we'll go to D and 
hunt the destroyer. What was that, a gade? Well, sometimes just people are frustrated too. I, I agree with that. Now he found a spot that he can actually hide. Dang, this DD will probably come around the back, but if we secure some caps here, we'll get really good experience points gains for that. It's only three minutes though. Minute nine left of our hydroacoustic to come through this gap. Gets down, not a lot of time left. We'll go ahead and use our radar. Oh, it was a Monahan. Okay, I'm getting close to being done. I have a feeling this DD went around the back. And as long as we secure one of these two caps, should be relatively easy win. Get spotted, we know he's still around. And we have enough time to cap. So our New Mexico that started out on my side. I actually don't, is killing him better than capping? I don't know. Capping might be worth more experience points than killing him. Well, we hit him four times. It's not firing. Yes, it is just a game. So I've never been angry at an opponent for sinking me, but I've felt rage for some teammates, but not to the point of saying them hate mail. Yeah. Me neither. I can honestly say I haven't gone to someone's port or sent them hate mail messages. I've had to respond back to people. But. And I have not escalated. Kind of feel sorry for people that get that triggered, honestly. There's something that's, it's the way I ultimately started looking at it. There's obviously something that is really bugging them in their life to be that triggered about you sinking them or you knocking their tank out so all right get a drink here that will get it done that's why i love atlanta we're third place we knocked out eight thousand of our 21,000 experience point goal. You, was re you were reported with your buddy Oni because you shot people too good. <laughs> hey, Fatal, hello, man. You playing PC tonight? I'm uh, trying to get some work done on, re -leg on Legend since they're resetting the missions. So whatever renown we earn by midnight my time tonight, mountain time, we get to keep. Then they're going to reset the missions, and the first mission is super easy, just three AI battles. So, all right. So really quickly here, Hype, let me see if I have it. I had it queued up somewhere. Dude, so I have a page for you. Look, it's the Hype for Hype page. Can you see that? So anyway, for those of you who are here, Hype Team is my first follower. So I've told this story a couple times, but 
literally like 10 minutes into streaming on day one, I got a follow and I was like, this seems easy. This is really easy to stream. Like it's not, it's hard to get follows. So anyway, as I found out, it's because I left my voice mod, like my squirrel voice mod on for like 20 minutes straight. I didn't realize the headphone mod that I had was turned on because it was in a setting that I couldn't see. So he's like, how old are you? You sound like you're really young. Like, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I have this voice mod on that makes me sound like a squirrel. So I said, ultimately, I'm a lot older than you, dude, to believe, believe it or not. So anyway, Hype was my first follower. Um, do really appreciate you. You've come over to the channel a lot. Always checking in on what I'm doing. Um, we do need to get to Div Up more at some point when stars align but anyway i have a xbox code for you it's not a ton of money i don't want your parents thinking there's some weird dude in the united states sending you huge xbox cards but i have a donation towards you to help get a premium ship so i'm gonna whisper a code to you okay um i can do that in the background here really quickly i think all the streamers that have streamed forever make all that seem so easy but let me see if this works out just hang in there real quick. Make sure this works the way I think it's going to work. All right, go into, got to get on my Twitch tab. Oh, crap. That go to the wrong person. Hey Samuel, I think I just sent you Hype's code by accident. Can you not use that? <laughs> and see your name pop up. Tell me if you got that, Hype. I just sent it to you a Twitch whisper. And sorry, Samuel, I don't think I can retract that. I know you're not gonna use it. I just clicked hype and like I used the very bottom message and right when I clicked hype, Samuel's name popped up instead. So Samuel gets the bonus code. You got it? Okay, go ahead and if you can try it in Xbox and let me know if you can do that, let me know and tell me that it worked okay. So anyway, it's not, again, it's not a ton of money, but it's just a thank you because again, you've been such a solid supporter and this whole streaming thing is interesting. You know, it's... I do this for fun. I'm not doing it for ego or for a living. Oh, dude, not your fault at all. It's I'm an amateur, my amateur move. I just clicked it and entered the code. So, but anyway, I just want to say thank you for being a good follower and a good, you know, we're not best friends, but you're like my first Twitch friend. I really appreciate it. And you've come by a lot. So. I hope you stay around for a while. It's been been fun hanging with you. And I will continue to defend that you are not a bot. You know, I try to explain to people, you can type in English a lot better than I could type in Norwegian. I know that 100% for sure. So anyway, before you jump off, let me know if that code works for you. So be a contribution to getting some doubloons so you can get a, get a premium boat <clears throat> or something, whatever you want to spend on. All right, I'm gonna run a couple more games and then maybe if someone wants to div, Arcana said he might wanna div, send you an invitation. I'm just gonna try to get a couple, a bit more experience knocked out really fast solo here. So if I die, I can jump right out. Just feeling like I have a chance to make some renown. Did it work? Did it work, Hype? Again, we've been talking about this interesting reset of the uh, server at midnight, my time tonight. So you get to keep all your renown. Awesome. Glad that worked, man. Thanks again. I appreciate you. Okay. Commander XP. We don't need Commander XP boost. We need Ship XP boost. We'll run Belfast. Like I said, just don't tell your parents some old dude in the United States is sending you Xbox codes, okay? I'm not sitting outside your high school in some kind of creepy 
1970s van, I promise. How are you tonight, Samuel? What are you working on? I'm trying to get some stuff done on my North Cape missions too, but man, I just don't have any of those ships. It's kind of a bummer. They made North Cape a lot harder. Are you grinding the missions? <laughs> like, if I jam, I might be able to get three of these done. And I'm out of town, not this weekend, but next weekend. So like, okay, I have a chance here to get maybe the first three knocked out, possibly, but at least two, right? Two should be, we have two more hours. Okay, you're doing that, sweet. Fatal, you're jamming. You already got to tier eight on the tech tree. Awesome. Well, you're using that premium time that you got well. That's really good. I am uh, not quite to tier eight on that new account that I was playing when you jumped on last, was it last night? Is that last night or the night before? I don't even remember losing track of time. Probably the night before, right? And I have the one of the tier eights unlocked. I just hadn't bought it because I needed to grind credits. So now that I have premium time on that account, I'm not so worried about grinding credits. It should go easier. I'm probably getting a little higher up than I need to or want to. Let's retreat back on the other side of this rock. So tier eight Russian cruiser. So refresh my memory, but you have two line choices you can make. So which line are you going to? Are you going for the Petro Pavlovsk? And then there's a new name for the other one, right? I I have a Moskva. I have the original tier 10 Russian cruiser. Oh, come on, Didi, I need you to spot. And I know it has a different name. It's like someone's name. Night for like 2 a.m. It's been grinding late. Well, you've made really good progress on that account. Yeah, so I have the Moskva, but the Moskva's gone off the tech tree on the other night. So they gave me like line progress up to tier 8, and then I'm grinding the Talon right now. I think that's what you're going to wind up getting next at tier 8. I'll warn you, that's not the easiest <laughs> cruiser. <laughs> I'm getting better, but she's, uh, Talon is big, not the most turny, not the most agile coming off of the shores. Like I personally like the shores. Oh crap, this is bad. I personally like the shores a lot. There's many people who don't like the shores. That's why I shouldn't talk and play, right? As much as I'm talking. But we'll just jump out and get another battle. Um, yeah, the Petro is really, really strong from everything it looks like. So I'm excited about the Petro for sure. Let's... Okay, let's go Bama. Leave my credits on. Ship XP... Yeah, Talon, you'll just have to really watch your positioning. And everyone loves shooting at those boats because, again, they're not super agile. It's a big target. And they take Citadel damage pretty easy. Whoops, what am I doing here? There we go. I did. I was talking and I wasn't paying attention to the fact there was a DD on that side. And he torped me in my smoke. And that DD I had on my side turned back around and didn't spot anybody but that Sharnhorst after he turned around. So... I will 100% admit that was completely me not paying attention. I'm not going to send a message to the guy. So you tort me in my smoke. Cheater. Tier 6 for the German BB. So that is Bayern. And that's a great ship. Koenig is really good too. Yeah, that's what I do. I have a couple lines. So I've been doing... U.S. cruisers, German battleships, German cruisers. And then I'm actually starting um, 
British destroyers and Japanese destroyers and Japanese battleships. I'm at like Miyagi, not very far along. But uh, the uh, the German battleship line mid tier is so fun with this. They're tanky. The guns are not awesome, but if you get close enough, they can do very well. And the secondaries are fun. But yeah, I love Koenig. I really like Bayern. Nisenau, you know, only six guns and bad dispersion, but if you know how to start using that armor and get in close and use your pretty good agility and get in and use the torpedoes and the secondaries. And her guns do good damage if you're close enough. So, yeah, that's a good line too. People have been complaining like Turpets and Bismarck are not performing as well as they used to, that they've gotten power crept a bit, but doesn't mean they're bad ships by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, Cleveland. You have lag. Are you playing right now, Hype? Yeah, I fatal is just like it's new. It's so it's so there was kind of a not an argument, but we were having a debate the other night. A couple of us like, you know, can you take anything on legends and translate it to PC? And the person was saying, well, they're really not the same. Nothing translates. And I don't really believe that per se. I mean, strictly, yes, they're two different games. They play differently. But there's a reason why I jumped over to World of Warships Legends Alpha and I was already a pretty good player. It's because there's enough similarity between the two games and their mechanics. And even the, the ships are not exactly the same, but they translate to some degree. So, but it's, it's like... You're playing the same game, but it's totally, it's refreshing to jump back and forth between the two. I think you'll find that you'll like Legends more when you get to jump over and play PC as well. Just It's my personal opinion. But I enjoy doing both, just like I enjoyed playing both versions of Tanks back in the day. What that Richelieu is doing. So I saw someone on my uh, console companion app, I think I have the World of Warships Legends Club or something that I'm, I'm subscribed to. So there's always these messages from people posting in that, that club. And someone posted this message, like, I bought Duke of York today and played it all day today and I want my money back. It's just, it's a King George that's just not as good in every way. And it's like, huh, that's exactly what everyone said about the Duke of York on PC when there was the event to earn the Duke of York. Like everyone was really disappointed because KGV is an awesome ship and Duke of York was slightly inferior to KGV across the board, except she has sonar. At least she does on PC. I don't know if they gave her sonar on Legends or not. But it's like, you know, it's, it's not two completely different games. They share a common core. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I watched you play in PC and if you had never played on Legends, you wouldn't be able to get out there and do really well like in that Florida game like you did. You have got killed a lot quicker by that um, Georgia, for instance. So I believe they translate. Are they exactly the same? No, they are not. Where? Oh, DD's on the other side of the rock. <laughs> so yeah, interesting to hear one person say already they're really disappointed in the Duke of York. Because she had massive complaints. I'm trying to remember what the nickname for her was. It wasn't a kind one. And she was free. You could earn her free through a campaign. It's the Duke of York with the ice camo. 
Pretty sure that was called the Battle of the North Cape campaign on PC as well, but it was the, the ship campaign, not a camo campaign. Well, it was both, actually. This Richelieu is acting odd. And they're gearing completely suicided. Okay, unfortunately, Richelieu got killed before our shells could land. This looks like we can head in and start flanking the ships on their base. Alabama is a pretty ship, especially in that original camo. Yeah, I mean, it's Duke of York is not bad hype. It's just I think people expect it to be like King George V, but even better because it has the hydro. But when they give a ship something, they take something away. And I think the frustrating thing for people is that it's not like the stats of it sound very different from King George. It's just, it's like the saw stats that they you can't really see. It just doesn't perform as well. <laughs> you pretty ship as well. Hey Monk, how are you? How are your Yahagi duels going? I've not taken the Yahagi out yet. I was thinking I should have done that in my, my three quick co-op matches. I didn't think about it. Yeah, so, I mean, Fatal, just remember, like, people have been playing on PC for five years, right? I've been playing for four. The, the beta people were there a year before me. So you're talking about people on PC. Some of them have 25,000 games. So... Yeah, I'm just kind of in a quick scramble to try to grind as much of this tonight as I can. If I can even just get these first two knocked out, which shouldn't be hard. Um, I'll be pretty happy with that. I didn't really have time to get on earlier. This is earlier than I normally get on anyway, but... I probably should just be running Atlanta the whole time because I swear even without the first win bonus should probably grind credits and XP better than some of these ships with a first win bonus on them. Okay, it's looking busy at their base. You're looking in try to get a PC. It doesn't take the beefiest PC in the world to run World of Warships. It's definitely could be worse as far as requirements. But I just, I bought a new computer at the end of the summer, so, and I usually, you can't future proof anything, but. I usually go a little bit above what I think I need at the time, so I did not make the, uh, the 3000 series RTX cards, but I have a 2080 and a good processor and SSDs for my hard drives, and it's, it's way overkill for what you need for World of Warships. So I can basically stream on the same computer. Why are all the DDs picking on me tonight? Here we go. Got a Citadel. So this ma I have the Massachusetts. I think Fatal, you got to see me play the Massachusetts the other night, right? On PC. It's like... <laughs> That ship I'm getting better and better at. Man, I'm having such a good time with it. Holy crap. It's fun. Oh, just missed getting him on the cheek. And you play Alabama, and now I'm getting ganged up on by three battleships. But uh, the secondaries of the Massachusetts sure are nice. 
Why don't you show me your cheek? God, unlucky. <laughs> we did kill the Yamato with secondaries. Uh, dudes, you just upgraded, huh? Let's see, what do I have? I have the 2080 Super. I think. Yeah, I have a 2080 Super, 8 gigabyte, and then I have... I got the Ryzen 3950X processor. And then with, again, with the first time I've had SSDs. And I have, I have 32, meg, 32 gigabytes of RAM too. So this PC has been running everything very easily. God, that was dumb. I should have gone for more survival positioning. We were so far ahead. I think eight gigabyte and 256 would probably be okay, Monk. You could look on their site and see what they recommend. But I mean, this is the third, I'm gonna say it's the, well, the second computer I've been running on. I think my last computer had 16 gigs of RAM and it was running like a i7 probably and, and did World of Warships just fine. So again, it's, it's not like trying to run you know, the latest first person shooter type game. Yeah, that's fatal. That's usually what I do. I just usually buy something, try to buy something one generation ahead or something relatively new so it'll, it'll last. And obviously, you can always upgrade your GPU. And that's probably what I'll do in like a year, year and a half when the supply is better and maybe the prices come down a little bit I'll probably whoops don't do that I'll probably go and grab a, th a 30 like a 3080 or no it's, maybe it's yeah like the 3070 3080 are supposed to be a way better value than the 3090 from everything I had read Triple booster on. Yeah, you should definitely be more than good with that setup. No problem. I mean, you can be able to run most games right now with that setup. And the other thing, just the reason I went with the RTX card again, that um, the new AMD graphic um, cards are supposed to be way better than they had been. So they're going to be pretty much on par or even better than the speeds of some of the NVIDIA cards. But the NVIDIA cards right now have the, the separate kind of dedicated hardware for video compression, which really helps when you're streaming. So that's the main reason I went with the NVIDIA card again. It's what I had last time. Though I did burn one up. And I just bought like a 1060 or something to play World of Warships, which again, it's not, it was like a maybe $200 card because it was an old generation, slightly upgraded old generation card. And it ran Warships just fine, like a 1060 Ti. So yeah, Monk, you're not going to have any problems with just even a moderate build. You don't have to go too crazy. I hate this map. You're lucky to even get one of those cards, man. Seems like really hard to get. So that's cool. All right. We need to kind of frantic right now. It's hyped up. I should try to start using my brain. see what we can do you're trying to finish the Russian Navy get to the whole all three lines I know you were working on the destroyers the battleships are good and I do like Russian cruisers I mean the guns on Russian cruisers are probably the easiest to aim of anything and do good damage 
Like a good premium ship that's not super expensive, probably on sale right now, is the Molotov. It's uh, fragile, but has 180 millimeter guns. So, the guns that are a tier or two higher. Then it's tier. Way too close to this Nyes now again, showing broadside. Okay, well at least we got him to turn out. Come on, Norman, start some fires. Okay, how many do we have? Just one ship focusing us. Hey, we got a fire. So we can help on the moss. Where is the moss? The moss is stuck. How unfortunate for him. Oh, he must have missed. Nice now is making a charge, people. You shouldn't be getting all that way in without getting focused. <laughs> yeah, that's how I am. I, that's why it's hard watching if I ever do like at work or anything. It makes me want to jump on my office PC, which there's no way it could run it. Ah, uh, we just missed burning down the knives now. Okay. Got some decent damage, though. Normandy was stuck and is backing up. Well, have fun, man. Hang out if you can, or if not, enjoy your matches. Keep me updated on your progress. So you did really well the other night when we played together. That was fun. So again, I can definitely tell said that your experience has translated over from one one game to the other. Oh, Pensacola, you don't want to sit still like that for too long. Makes me sad to see. It's not the ship. Pensacola is a better ship than most people give it credit for really is. Yeah, the turret rotation stinks. You don't want to get caught broadside. But that's pretty much the case in most mid-tier cruisers. She has great guns when she connects. Oh, no problem, man. Let me know what you're working on as you're doing it. I wish I could play both things simultaneously, because like I was saying at the start of the stream, I have so much stuff to do on my PC accounts, it's insane. I was working on my snowflakes on all my tier 10s. Unfortunately, all the Santa crates I got were just like normal flags and stuff. I think the best thing I got, I think I did get like a thousand doubloons. So that was cool. But... It's hard, there's a lot of FOMO. When you have three PC accounts and I'm only playing like one and a half of them right now. And this holiday time is just the best time of the year to get a bunch of free stuff. Okay, Normandy, get him one more time. Maybe. have the talent working on the Riga. Yeah, I should be at the Riga before long. I've been working on the talent and I, I'm, again, a lot of people don't like the talent and I'm starting to, to like it better. I'm working on that account on the talent and the Cleveland. Cleveland is in a very different spot on PC than it is on Legends when you're going up against tier 10 ships in Cleveland all the time because tier 8 matchmaking tends to get drug up to tier 10 
I've played probably 30 games in that Massachusetts that I bought. I have a 70% win rate, which is better than my normal average. And I would bet that I'm playing 80% of my games in either tier nine or tier 10 matches as a tier eight. But that's just kind of the way the matchmaking works at that tier. You get pulled up a lot. Okay, where are they? Oh, Normandy is back. It's not aiming at us. So let's take advantage of that. Kill would help. Okay, got a fire. Probably gonna get rammed. Oh no, the Friedrich is way over on the side. He's beached. Something. Come on. There we go, finally. Yes. Oops. Collision alert. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, we're down to two cruisers. Use your Belfast 43 and got pulled into a tier 10 game. I have not done a ton of research. Just heard it's kind of a... I have the original Belfast. Yeah, and that Bel Belfast 43 is a tier 8, right? It's supposed to be her post-war configuration, or late-war configuration. I'm not 100% sure how she's altered, but I have seen a lot of them around. She's a good ship. Yeah, there's a new version of the Belfast on PC hype. It's called the Belfast 43, so... They didn't want to put more of the original Belfast back on sale because it's too overpowered, so... They kind of compromised by making a new version of it. Well, there, I mean, there's team damage, obviously, on PC. I have to remember sometimes now. I think they turned off team damage on World of Tanks PC, though. Because of trolls. Alright, who's left? Just Belfast? Hey, if you want to hang out there, Belfast, while I cap this cap, I would love that. No, I'm going to have to try to kill you now. Not too worried about this situation. We have nearly full health and a heal. Seven fires. That's better than we've been doing with Norman Scott of late. We have one Atlanta game over the weekend, I think on Sunday, where I got like 11 fires. That felt like the good old days. Oh, yeah, for your teammates, Generous Ram. Oh, that damage, yeah. Yeah. So, dude, the funny thing is on... <clears throat> I've had a couple situations on PC where you uh, rub up against someone who's got like 200 hit points and then you kill them and you turn pink for X number of games. <clears throat> yeah, that's fun. So I have done that. So you guys, if you don't know, like on PC, if you, there is team damage, you can torpedo your own teammates. That's the thing that happens most time. Or if you're shooting at an enemy ship and you've got a teammate near that enemy ship. Uh, Belfast doesn't have any torps hype. 
Neither do I. But uh, if you accidentally damage your teammates' ships, you have to hit them quite a few times to get penalized. But if you accidentally sink them, you're instantly penalized and your ship turns pink for a certain number of games so everyone knows that you're a team killer. And then obviously if you intentionally shoot at someone like in the spawn or that sort of thing, it's a much bigger penalty. Ah, oh, shot behind him, in front of him. So yeah, the some games literally at lower tiers you load in and you have 12 total ships on your team on on PC, not nine. So I've loaded in and like literally like half of my team has been pink before and in one shot. Like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a mess. So I guess when this resets at midnight, they're gonna reset the tasks, but they won't reset like our mission progress, right? If we got the renown, we'll still be on whatever step we're on. Hey, we finished first. That was a better game. Paying more attention. 8,300 ship XP. That'll get it done. Okay, now we're gonna jump in. Oh, Belfast, cause we, it resets at midnight my time, 7 a.m. UTC. So, well, in an hour and a half, hype. So whatever you earn in Renown between now and in an hour and a half, like if you could jump on and just run three games in co-op and get your three wins, you'd get 75 Renown that you would carry over. No, I think it's at a, in an hour and a half. It's midnight my time. So, let's leave that set as that. So they messed up the programming of the damage in one of the missions. Okay. Let's jump back here. Oops. <sighs> feel bad for making Sam feel bad. Like first time I send a code out to someone, I send it to the wrong person. I'm gonna put that on my top 10 list of things not to do when you're streaming. Thank God I have two monitors at least, but the people who really stream big time serious, I mean, it's crazy they have three and four monitors. So you can keep all your different screens that you need to attend to open all at one time. I've never had two monitors before until I started streaming and it's awesome for my job and everything. I don't know if I can go back to using one monitor ever again. It's like you can work on two spreadsheets at one time or it's multiple monitors is awesome. I had a friend I worked with like going on 20 years ago that had multiple monitors. I'm like, why would you need that? It's like, oh, well I work on all these documents and I need to see multiple things at one time. It's like, now I totally get what he was talking about. All right, I think, well, let's see. Let's hope we're not gonna get spotted by the Massachusetts. Oh crap, we are. So we're gonna go ahead and smoke up. Throwing her in a hard right turn, try to slow her down faster so we don't run out of the smoke. And so we throw off the aim of the Massachusetts. But that may or may not happen. Yeah. I thought these rocks here might shield us, but obviously the top of our mass sticks up above that. We have another another battleship coming in in the Odin that we can fire on. 
Hopefully get the mass on the other side of the rocks here. That's not good. This would be a great position if we get support. And just rotate setting fires. Thank you, Wilson. It's not Wilson. Tom. It was Tom Hanks's character in Castaway? Okay. So we've got three battleships sailing by broadside. seconds. Good god, there's more coming from the left side. Unfortunately, cannot hit the Massachusetts. So we can get the Odin again, though. Into the rocks a little bit, just try to stay concealed. Hype, you've seen me have a good at, have a good Atlanta game from this spot, I think. This is a good cruiser spot as long as your team doesn't sit too far back. Because if you get rushed here in a cruiser, you're in big trouble. Ooh. This Akatsuki pay for this maneuver a little bit. Dude, don't sit still. You're going to be really bummed. <sighs> that rock just saved his butt. This Akatsuki is really using this rock to his advantage. Come on, you're blocking me, dude, at the very worst time. There we go. Nice. Massachusetts is still hanging out behind the rock. Hey, Cleve. The game allowing you to get some potential damage. Um, I am not that far. I just read the message and figured it out at like 8.30 tonight. I'm like, holy crap, I got to jump on and get some stuff done because I'm going to be out of town, not this weekend, but the coming weekend. So and I'm probably not going to take my Xbox with me. So like, hey, anything I can do to get ahead is going to make that weekend less stressful. <laughs> so I'll have to do weekday grinding. About to go to sleep, and they said they're resetting. Yeah, me, me too. I had no plan on getting on and and streaming or playing Legends. I was just gonna do complete mindless co-op of my Snowflake stuff on PC. That was my plan for the evening. I'm like, well, I can at least get the three wins knocked out, especially since it's AI. And then if I play Atlanta for at least a game or two, it should be easy to get the XP and I might be able to get the credits too. So anyway, kind of excited. Ooh, Fiji's coming back. The thing we have to worry about is that Massachusetts, but we do have smoke. Did you uh, use some gold cleave or? I haven't seen Rich tonight. I mean, I know he got Massachusetts, just hadn't played it yet. Again, just been saying, the more I play the one I have on my PC account, the more excited I am to get it now. <laughs> okay, Fatal, I don't know that I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna be up that late tonight to do both. Thank you, man. About to hook up again soon. That was fun. 
been fun crossing over. I know Cleve plays PC. Okay. Massachusetts gonna come out. Yeah, he's gonna come out and screw me right now. I should have figured that was gonna happen. What is this behind me, a Pensacola? Dude, if you looked in front of you, there's a Massachusetts coming around the corner. New Orleans, okay, neither of us have torpedoes, which is awesome. He's nearly full health. Try to burn down the Odin, get back to some cap here, or some protection. Oh, spending 3,000 doubloons. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be that bad, right? That's like 15 bucks or something, ish. All right, hype. Thanks for stopping by. Again, appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and a good week. If I don't talk to you till this weekend or something, take care of yourself as always. I'm gonna sink this Odin for you right now. That's my goal. Sink. That was for hype. Sweet. Best follower ever. Thanks, man. Have a good night or a good day for you. Good night for me. <laughs> oh no, Massachusetts. So we actually got back to cover. Oh, but we've got, that's what I was talking about when your support from behind you disintegrates. I'm not sure exactly how it did. Cause we did pretty well on this cap. Must have folded on the other side. Oh, we have a Baltimore too. Hooray! First win bonus would have been nice. Let's farm what we can. Where are our friendly ships here? Battleships out way behind us, which is helpful. I see you, Baltimore. Okay, the Massachusetts is at least a little busy. Radar the Baltimore. Surprise! Oh! <laughs> you have better AP than I do. Ah, uh, I need some super heavy AP rounds. Well, I was never going for Lennon Cleave. I just, man, that was gonna be a heavy lift slash um, big dollar investment, honestly. I'm gonna jump out and keep going. It's power grind, power grind, power grind just too much and I know it's a strong ship and it's not gonna be a ship that a lot of people have I totally get it but to me I just don't know that it's gonna be worth my time and money okay what do we want to play next let's go uh Got first wins on Boise and Atlanta. We can go to Grass. Load her up with a booster of the triple kind. Whoops. I hope I'm doing this right. We should be doing, not you, credit boosters. This one. You saw about eight Lennons. Well, 
put it this way, I thought that they were gonna be a little bit rare, but probably underestimated how many people would just buy it. I mean, when I first started playing the game and World of Tanks, I spent a lot of money on premiums. So, and it was fun at the time, you know, getting something that you thought was gonna be pretty rare. So, which is why I do have like Kutuzov and Belfast and I won my Missouri, fair and square. I ground her out for free XP, but none of the ships that I bought were as expensive as the Lennon would be. Yeah, I have Nelson on two of my PC accounts. I don't have her on here, but Nelson fits the bill for certain things like fire damage. Um, yeah, Flint, I wouldn't mind. I've always been interested in getting Flint and I don't own her on any account. But Nelson has its purpose, and she's a meme to play in certain circumstances. I've had some of my most fun games ever in Nelson. And I know some people think that she's trash, but I don't. It's just, it's individual taste. I mean, it's the whole people go, well, what ship should I get? What's the best ship? It's like, you can't tell someone what the best ship is. They have to figure that out for themselves based on their play style, what lines they like, what nations they like, what, you know, types of ship they like. But I've had a lot of fun in Nelson. Well, yeah, yeah, she's... Don't show side armor. And you're right, you can overmatch her bow. But... When she's even rank or high tier, she can obviously do really well, and her AP is underrated. All right, we have had very late help with the DD spotting tonight. We're just going to bizarre cap choices. Yeah, it does strike him through the bow. Not not too surprised about that. Well, and then a lot of people don't angle them properly. If it's a newer player, there's a lot of Nelson players that do not angle. They show you that big, fat, flat barge side. <laughs> That's why I call it the fire barge. That Minikaze. Come on, people, fire at that ship. Oh, he's coming back in. Not a good choice. Not a good choice. You die now. Oh. <laughs> TD came and torpedoed him. Well, it's it's not bad on PC from my experience. The Nelson. Shots broadside blood and boom, five shatters. Well, yeah, you're shooting at a tier eight Russian battleship. I'm probably talking more about shooting at cruisers and equal or lower tier battleships. Yeah, technically Vlad shouldn't have the best side armor, but There also is RNG, it is a thing. But I've had pretty good luck using her AP. Again, a lot of people just don't, don't really ever use it. Is Dunkirk, has he even moved the entire match? I know he shot at me once, oh, he's backing up, probably. Yeah, Alaska, I, I don't honestly, like the guys who I followed, on PC that wrote write-ups on Alaska that helped me decide to go for her for free XP. Like, they're like, don't ever shoot HE in the ship, just shoot AP. And it may feel like you're not getting the huge broadsides that you're used to getting in a battleship, which is true, but you'll do significant damage on every salvo. 
And obviously it's damage that's not as easily healed. Okay, got the Dunkirk on fire again. Send some torps out just in case the Congo tries to come inside. But now it looks like he's going outside. Trust the West Virginia to take care of him. Probably, probably should. There's two battleships in B, and we only have, well, we have one battleship far on the other side of C getting chased by a destroyer, so we probably should go try to counter those battleships that are central and not chase the Congo. <laughs> I like Greece as a map. In uh, cruisers, I, I don't like it as much in battleships. Unless I'm learning to stay central, though, just position kind of either side gap of the center spawn between the center cap and one of the side caps if you spawn there. And I'm doing much better not trying to travel and show my broadside while I'm traveling. Greece is where I did have my 236,000 damage Yamato game because the battleships tried to reposition. <laughs> right along that spinal column island. Okay. We'll harass the Byron while he's focused on battleships. Gross getting some fire damage going here. Oh. Putting a fire out didn't help you, Byron. You put it out too soon. That one will stick and burn. Oh, we need to help on the DD. Let's hope we can t help on the DD without the battleship focusing us. You're in trouble now, Gepard. But that was behind you. I thought you had an engine damage. See, the Gepard probably doesn't realize we're running Hydro, so let's go straight at him. Ugh. That was as close as it can get. Come on. Oh, Lord. Sometimes when you just can't get the guns on target and then your teammate kills them before you can. Dunkirk. Uh, getting focused by three. Need to turn away from the center area. Make ourselves small to the Dunkirk. Oi! Bastards. Oh, we got. We had a melt. I didn't realize we melted so badly. Alright, man. Have a good night, Cleve. Take care. See you later this week, hopefully. All right. I was wondering why all of a sudden four ships were focusing us. Let's check and see how we're doing. We're just playing really fast and frantic tonight. Just trying to grab these renown as fast as we can. Two point one million after that game. Uh, let's see. Well, we have have an hour. I think it's time to do one ship and one ship only. We're going to go all out on Atlanta. We don't need to use a 
ship XP booster. Bump up credits. Keep global XP on. And we're just riding with Atlanta and Norman Scott. So we'll stack the premium ship credits bonus with the triple battle booster bonus on credits. We won't get our first win bonus because we've already used that. But I honestly even think without a first win bonus is still one of the best ships I have for earning credits and XP period. And this is the last time I played the ship, I was on this map in this spot. Sar. And the entire team YOLO'd from where they are right now in this spawn, in this spawn to A. <laughs> A slash B. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this spot here. We can support a C push if we decide to do that and still get fire into B. If we go to the left on these mountains by the A cap, there can be quite a bit less to shoot at. And more likelihood that we'll get flanked along the outside of A. If you're still there, Arcana, I'm kind of just frantic grinding, man. So, sorry I haven't sent a div invite. I'm just trying to get this credits one done. An extra chunk of renown would be really helpful. So just don't have to work quite as hard. Though again, the shakedown missions seem like a little easier to get. Wichita, you're gonna. You hang here, I'm gonna go up to the next position. How about that? Wichita's not gonna get great shots from there. Guns are a lot lower arc than the Atlantas. You're really gonna sit right there where you're gonna fire into the side of the island a lot. Edinburgh is going for a YOLO. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, you're gonna smoke up, but when your smoke's out, you're gonna die. You already ha lost half your health getting to that spot and there again our battleships are going backing out and going to be surprise Akasuki And he's dead. Couldn't help it. Problem is, now he's smoked up, so we don't have spotting. And all I have is a very deep battleship. This is exactly what happened in the last game. Only two of us went this side. They have two DDs on this side, so it's not like I really want to abandon this position or we're going to get flanked from behind. And the two battleships, well, the one battleship that's out to my right will likely just get abused. Come on. 
Focus, Daniel-san. Burn down, Akazuki! Burn down! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Thank you. You are kidding me. <laughs> I had hit him, but he didn't seem like he was going to die. Okay, getting one of the two of those destroyers was helpful. I didn't know that he was in radar range until he started firing his main guns. I'm like, he looks close enough. We'll pop radar and see what we can detect. Try to kite off this corner. The DD knows I'm here. I'll likely torp this area. Try to come out where I can support these guys. I can't believe we still have B. Or sorry, D cap. It's nuts. Now it's probably a good time to fall back to this island. If we stay where we started, we'll be exposed when the Alabama pushes that area. Fire on the Cleveland. At least make him think about advancing. Yeah, he's breaking off our DD now. So I don't know that I was going to be able to hit him. Just more so getting him to break off that pursuit. I've got a few shots on him. Okay, must be one of the DDs spotting us. be back in this area. We can't, had to vacate, put the island between us and the Alabama. Good luck, everyone. Looks like we can get shots on the key. Ooh, is that the Cleveland? Yeah, that... DD is still lighting us up, obviously. Yeah, he has to advance a little bit more. It'll be nice to get this Cleveland out. Come on fire. We will heal that, most likely. You just kind of know by the pressure you're feeling behind you whether you need to advance one more island. We have a whole parade following us. And look where our battleships are. They went all the way around the A cap where they can get really no fire anywhere but into A right now. So... We're getting pushed in the middle because we have no fire support. And I'm getting fired at by all these guys because they have no other targets to shoot at effectively. Come on. Man, a Wichita will be a little bit difficult to hit. Kite them the best we can, just changing our speed and direction. Keep knocking our steering out, but only temporarily. I keep overshooting him. There we go. Now the key is coming. And this is kind of ridiculous. Team positioning on this map has been really bad lately. And I still have some 
stupid DD that's tracking me and keeping me lit this whole flipping time. Try to stop shooting and see if they lose detection. You guys are all grossly out of position. It's just a fact. Turpits, which needs to be in close. Nagato, Iowa. I mean, it's kind of comical, really. And every time I fire, the DD lights us, and then we've got well, our battle. Our battleship got torpedoed, probably. The only thing I can do is get in this area and hopefully blind fire over these islands. It's just not easy shots to hit. Yep, they're about to win because they own all the caps because all of our cap capability went to the one line. Concentrate fire on the target. Crazy. You want some of this? And he's going to torpedo me from that distance. Ugh. Maybe we won't get to 2.1 million credits. Jeez Louise. Speed grind, speed grind, speed grind. Okay, we'll go back to Belfast. Don't need the ship booster, just need the credit booster. Belfast also earns pretty well too. Probably not as good as Cleveland. Or sorry, as good as Atlanta. But not too shabby. Especially with a triple booster. Ugh. So those three battleships, you realize they all spawned outside of D. So they drove completely across the entire map from basically the eight line to go to the one line where they can't get any fire pressure on the middle of the map and they allow the enemy team to basically walk straight through D. It's crazy. So tier seven tech tree battleships, uh, some of them, one of them. So you had to play quite a few games. I have learned to try not to play the extreme 1 in 10 line, especially in a battleship, because late stage of a game like that when the other team takes initiative, you can't recover and get back to the middle of the map where you need to help support kind of the late game action if you drive all the way to the edge. Makes it a really difficult place to recover from, essentially. Yeah, it's just been bad fatal tonight. It's been bad team-wise. I mean, the right tactic is, technically, you want a presence on each flank. So, like, four ships on each flank doesn't bother me, but not when... Some of those ships are driving all the way from one side of the map to the other. It's like, learn to play both sides of the maps. Don't just pick the one side where you feel comfortable because there's one island or there's one channel that you like to work. You have to get yourself in the mindset you're going to force yourself to play positions that you're not as comfortable in so that you can basically support whichever spawn you're closest to. Or if you're in a destroyer or light cruiser, you might have to take the position of defending the middle just from a spotting perspective. Obviously, in a light cruiser, you're not going to go try to plug the middle up. But a destroyer can with torpedoes. Okay. 
going to try to help out on this flank. They have only one cruiser, two battleships. Only one DD per side in this game. It's been a rip night. I've had a few completely boneheaded maneuvers, not because I went to the wrong side of the map, just because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I just didn't think that Akatsuki could hit me when I'm running away from him, but he's faster than me in Atlanta. We've been up tiered quite a bit, and we will be again in this game. Okay, Algeri. So we can get the jump on him. I should have started our turn a little sooner. Ugh, oh, he missed. One fire. Oh, our Nyza now is dead. It's their Bismarck's almost dead. Must have torpedoed him. Yeah, just get out of there, dude. Ay ay ay. I just don't know who hit me there. Blind fired. Yeah, I can't defend that side with you, dude. We're two light cruisers against multiple battleships. And it's not domination caps, so if it's dom not domination caps, don't, like, fall in love with defending one specific spot. You just need to prevent the push onto your cap. So I'm going to try to recover to a position where I have a little bit of hard cover. Especially since we took that hit for 15,000 from I don't know who. So I'm probably going to go to the opposite side of the base. Well, and here's part of our issue. We have an Iowa sitting in the cap. We have a Colorado sitting in our cap. It's kind of nutty. <clears throat> Dude, there's a Cleveland broadside to us right there. smoke up now these guys are going to pursue Algeri hit an island hey we got lucky Ouch, down population you bro okay guys we should be able to focus fire this nice now down right Let's do it. Let's do it. They may be committing the error of coming in one ship at a time <laughs> against three. Why do people feel the urge when it's not domination mode to charge three entrenched ships solo? And it's not my teammate this time, so I'm okay with that, but it's 
not a winning strategy. Yeah, we had two Iowa and Colorado sitting here, hadn't left. It's not a bad thing when they're just YOLOing into our cap now. I mean, you know, it makes it look like that was a smart play to be sitting in the cap, but. Okay, another fire. You can't heal it, it looks like. Ten seconds and you get on the move. Another fire. Burn, baby, burn. Oh no, dude, you're gonna let him torp you, Iowa. Are you kidding me? Okay. Time you get to Iowa, you think you know the Nisenau has torpedoes. Okay, KGV. We can just sit here. As long as we can get shots up over the island. Again, there's no reason for us to charge middle. No cap points there. So we'll just park right here where the island is lower. And have some Rose King George, hopefully. Yeah, we're not running EEOP on the Belfast, and her fire chance rate definitely seems better than the ships that I have Norman Scott on these days. Second fire. Okay. Yay, we're gonna get a win. <laughs> Colorado's an island like behind our cap now, kind of. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know what he's saying. I don't keep my team chat on. Pretty much keep it muted, my team voice chat. Okay, let's push up and help. Is that the Roma from? Yep. Roma and then the cruiser. Is that Miyoko from the very start of the game? He's way behind there, Cap. Eleven nineteen. The last twenty minutes feel like it's been two hours. <laughs> That's what you need to get better at on PC is torps. People on PC are more smart. You mean like on dodging torps, Fatal? Yeah, you're gonna just have more experienced players over there. Just number of games wise. Hey tacos, um, what battleship tier five premium is the best? Uh, it depends. Like, what kind of play style do you like? When it, if you ask, like, which premium you like the best, it can be really dependent on on how you like to play. So, if you go for a U.S. battleship like the California, um, that's a good premium but she's slow and she's relatively tanky armor wise, very good guns and a good number of guns. Um, Samuel says war spite. I highly endorse the war spite. That is a great mid tier ship. She's faster than a US battleship. She's maneuverable. She has better secondary batteries and her guns are insanely good for her tier. Um, but the one thing you have to overcome with her is that her turrets turn slower than other ships. So you kind of get used to using your guns and turret working together to get your guns on target. Because you'll be frustrated sometimes if you just wait for her turrets to turn. The British battleships and the higher tier, um, well, the highest tier battleship, the Yamato, have really slow turning turrets. 
So yeah, War Spite is a great recommendation. Again, let me, let's, uh, our Bismarck had a good game. Good job, dude. Let me jump in the shop really quickly here and see, cause there's stuff, I think that's still on sale. So it's a good time to go for a mid tier premium with the sale prices too. Unless they took that off with the patch. Looks like they may have. Um, Dunkirk, I like. I don't like her as much as the War Spite personally. I'm, for some reason, I'm not as big on the battleships that have all front mounted guns. It's just not as much my style, but it doesn't mean she's a bad ship. If you like more to bow tank, um, and keep your bow pointed at your targets and kind of move more up and back rather than use your speed and twist and turn and flank. She is a good ship. Um, just of that group of ships, I would put War Spite personally higher. Um, Arizona, if she's available, is a good mid-tier US battleship. Or same with West Virginia. West Virginia is another one that the hull isn't quite as strong, but the guns are really, really strong. But again, you have to like that slower dreadnought US battleship, 20 knot maximum speed play to like West Virginia, Arizona, California. But Arizona was one of the first premiums that I owned on PC and I've played a lot of games in her and she packs a punch as does West Virginia. So um, if you like big guns and a lot of them, Arizona has more guns than West Virginia because West Virginia's are higher caliber. But those are both both good ships, and they're just they're not the fastest. Giulio Cesare at tier four, that is a really fun all around battleship that's speedy, is maneuverable, has good armor and good guns for her tier. So she's way overpowered on PC and really fun. So I know she's one tier lower than tier five and. You know, she's Italian. We don't have an Italian battleship line, but it's coming. The Italian battleship line is coming on PC soon, and then it will come to Legends. So I would not get the Prince Idol Friedrich. She's more like a gimped battle cruiser. If you were going to get something like the PEF, I'd spend more doubloons and get the Scharnhorst. She's one of my favorite ships in the game, even though she's not a big gun battleship. She's more like a fast firing, heavy cruiser gun battle cruiser but i love her especially with the torpedoes um and good secondaries yeah mutsu uh mutsu is i probably wouldn't pick mutsu as like top of my list i think she's a nagato hull um gets punished on the side quite easily not that all these ships can't give up some damage on the side armor, but I think your choices are War Spite and uh, Julio Cesare and the U.S. battleships. But you have lots of good choices, but just, you know, again, a lot of it will be what speed do you want to play at. If you don't mind playing slow and deliberate, the U.S. Um, ships are a good choice. Um, like Samuel just said, Mutsu has big guns like Nagato, but she is very bad armor as a lot of the Japanese battleships do at that tier, though she'll be a little faster. Um, and it's, it doesn't look like War Spite's in the shop right now. I don't know if she's on the tech tree. But yeah, War Spite would be one of my, she's one of my all around favorites at mid tier. Just look at the tech tree really fast. Put them all on this. Oh, she's on the she's on the tech tree in the uh, premium ship tab. Oh, and War Spite has a monster heal. If you're aggressive, then I'd probably pick War Spite. Honestly, she can brawl. She can hit people hard from distance. And if you like to brawl, she has the heal. She has like a British cruiser super heal so if you like to get in close and deal damage um she can heal up more damage than the average battleship she only has eight guns but they're relatively accurate and when you hit with those guns i mean it's like it's cruiser deletions i just was playing war spite not that long ago on pc and she's 
she's a tier six on PC and we were in the middle cap on Haven and it was towards the end of the game and I was cruising kind of an angle into the middle of the map and this KGV came from the other side. He was three quarter health and I deleted him in my war spite. <laughs> he gave me full broadside. It's like thinking, oh, it's a lower tier battleship. I don't have to worry as much. I deleted him from three quarters health with just the eight guns because I think I got four citadels on him. So I'm with Samuel on the fact that War Spite is one of my all time favorites. Just she's not the fastest, but she's faster than US Battleship and her turrets are slower. But you'll learn to use your hull to keep turning to keep up with that. Yeah, and like Fatal said, she has a 3D printer on board to heal the health up. Kind of like the Nelson does, and um, the British cruisers have that super heal too. And the Conqueror right now, if you rent a Conqueror, the Conqueror has that crazy heal as well. All good choices. There's a lot of good mid-tier battleships, honestly. But yeah, if you play aggressive, you might think, oh, Prince Eidel Friedrich, that's a German battleship. I would not get the Prince Eidel Friedrich. That's the one I wouldn't get. Um, again, she does not have battleship guns by any stretch. Okay, we're at 1.42 million credits. Okay, we need a couple of decent games. Come on, Atlanta. You don't have War Spite, Samuel? You would like it. You'd be good in it. I have deleted so many ships in that boat. And because she has big caliber guns, you know, it's not like you're, 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 you're shooting AP in that ship almost all the time against cruisers and battleships. So if you can't do damage on an angled hull, just shoot the superstructure. Um, but like, I've had multiple duels with destroyers in that ship and they think, oh, you know, they're just going to waltz in sometimes even two of them versus one of me. But because of those big guns, the HE, the alpha strike of the HE is insanely good. Hey, man, thank you, Tacos, for the follow. I love I love tacos. I love tacos of steak, like you're saying, as well as any other meat. My favorite foods, tacos and burritos. But yeah, she's, I've just wasted destroyers in that ship because the alpha strike of the HE with the higher caliber guns is just amazing. So when you need to use HE, you're gonna have a good HE backup alternate um, ammunition type and then her AP is stellar at her tier. The parallel to that is the West Virginia. The West Virginia has up tiered guns, but I would honestly say, you know, you're gonna have some Lull hits in the West Virginia, but she's not going to be as fun to play because she's so much slower. And I like a ship that can turn when they're in tight quarters when you want to brawl and have some secondaries, and Horse Bite has those both. Um, yeah, we can. I just need to like load. My thing is, Archer, I need to load in as fast as possible right now. I'm really on the borderline of getting the 2.1 million credits. So I might just derp it out right now, if that's OK. 